Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how to sell domain on GoDaddy. So the first thing that you want to do is under domains, you're going to have your domain. Click on it. Here, you're going to have your domain's estimated value is, you're going to have below 100. So I'm going to list for sale. Okay. So buy now price, let's say I'm going to 1000 and you, what you can do, add a for sale page, so lower your commission fee by 40% and double the chance of selling your domain by adding for a sale lender. You can learn always more here. And when you're going to be here, you're going to click publish listing. Okay. List my domains. Okay. We listed our uh, for sale. So now we're going to have it uh, like selling. Let's wait here until this loads. You see, buy now price, USD 1000, edit listing. And here you're going to have uh, that this is status listed. You can have future listing. Then you're going to have the buy now price, floor price. If a broker negotiates price above the floor price, our team will complete the sale. And this is like the minimum offer. Usually used as a conversion starter. And lease to own. Lease to own can only be enabled for domains where the buy now price is between 495 and 100,000. So uh, when you're going to have it, and when you have the pricing here, then you're going to have the parking activity. And you see right now that similar domain sold on the right side. Trust your bots, trust your body, 2000. Choose your with curb your cravings on your franchise 1000 and then have like uh, add domains portfolio here you're going to have the domain here but if I want to I can change that then I'm going to like lead center purchases, offers, and settings like account details. And when you're going to be in account details, here you're going to find, when you're going to scroll down below like profile, etc. And here you're going to find like domain sale payments from Afternic. This is how you can receive a payment after selling a domain. And what you can do, you can add a new payment method or edit the existing one. So when I'm going to add a new, so this is the nickname. And you can choose like default for domain sales. And here we have to add uh, like all the information. And you're going to find like the payment method, text forms and done. And here you're going to, uh, that's how you're going to receive. Wait a second. So here when I go, I go to payment method number one. And I'm just like feeling my personal information. Okay, and look at this. Here is payment method. And you can choose PayPal, you can choose wire transfer, good as gold, and also PayPal here. And you would add just like the email address and first name, last name. And then you're gonna set up text forms. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's different from where you're from. Uh, but yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you're going to have a great day and goodbye.